Hey guys, Joseph James here once again with your nightly newsletter brought to you by the school of trade.com. Today was August 26, 2009. Making our way once again through this month of August, a sleepy summer month of August. Looking forward to, of course, the Labor Day holiday. We get back to business here. I want to remind you guys we have a free resource online. Go to our YouTube page forward slash school of trade. And when you're there, guys, subscribe to our page. Please rate and comment on those videos. Now, today was one of those days that we were quickly reminded of the dangers that plague us during summertime trading. Took a loss in the DAX the first two of the day that put us underneath water for a little while this morning. We tried to climb our way back out of the out of the uh, the hole we had dug ourselves in, but as you guys can see, we ended it this morning with a loss in the account. 360 we gave back to the mark today. Of course, we didn't take any trades yet this week at all. Our weekly total, of course, is at 360 underwater. And that brings our monthly total back down to 1430. We'll keep you guys posted as we work our way through the month of August. Now, today's term of the day is the pace of the tape, or what we call the pot, the pace of the tape. What does this mean, guys? This is an indicator. This is a technical indicator, a proprietary indicator, called the pace of the tape indicator. Now, of course, this technical indicator is available only for advanced lifetime members. So come out and join us as a lifetime member, and you'll get this among the rest of our proprietary indicators. I right, add no additional charges, no monthly fees, and I'll give you guys more information about that later on in the video. The pace of the tape indicator, again, it's a technical indicator, and it quantifies the speed of the tape. Now, we came up with the idea of having the pace of the tape indicator a while back because we were having a hard time uh, defining for our new clients what I meant by speed of the tape. As you guys can imagine, with our entries and our exits, we're looking to, of course, identify when price is moving quickly, we want to trade with it. When price slows down, we want to, of course, avoid the market. Our risk increases when price action slows down. Right? Our risk decreases when price action speeds up. So we were trying to find a way to define or to quantify the actual speed of the tape. So if I was to tell you what is the speed of the tape right now, you would, of course, be looking for the pace of the tape indicator. It's almost like a speedometer for the time and sales window. And again, it's used for entries and exits right, to help us get into the market and get, know when to get out of the market. It's used to define market sentiment. And that's one of the biggest tools, right? one of the biggest reasons why we love this pace of the tape indicator because it allows us to identify market sentiment. Now, as you guys know, we use multiple time frames. We use things like momentum and volume, price action, and of course, the pace of the tape indicator to give us some sort of idea of what the overall market sentiment is. Now, we use a term called relative comparison. What that means is, is that we're going to watch this indicator, the pace of the tape. And a good example is we look for divergence, where we have price moving up and the tape slows down. So we use this pace of the tape indicator to identify specific market sentiment by looking at it and how it relates to what price is doing. So of course, if we see the pace of the tape indicator speed up, right, giving us yellow and green pot bars, that it tells us that the time and sales window is moving much faster. Now with the price action speeding up, if we then see the market then move down, well then that tells me the sentiment, of course, is to the downside. So if we see price action speed up, we, we notice it on our pace of the tape indicator, right? It's a speedometer of the time and sales window. So when I check my pot indicator, I see that it's speeding up. If I see prices rising, then I know, of course, the sentiment is long. Now, on the opposite side, if I see that my pace of the tape indicator is showing nothing but red bars, that means very slow speed of the tape, and I have price rising, well, that usually will mean that the sentiment is in the opposite direction. So if the price slows way down while it still rises, well, that means the sentiment is most likely to the downside. Remember, speed of the tape confirms interest in the direction of that trade or interest in the direction of the market. So if we see the pace of the tape speed up, we, of course, are going to then look for price action wherever it moves. That's going to be the overall market sentiment. So we use relative comparison. How does the pace of the tape look compared to what the market's doing? And that will help us define overall market sentiment. Now, this pace the tape indicator is very simple to use. It uses three basic colors, red, yellow, and green. Now, when you see the pace the tape indicator go red, it means that we've had, we have very low speed of the tape. Okay, so of course, remember, the pace of the tape indicator is a speedometer for the time and sales window. So when, when I see my tape slow down, it'll show red on my pot indicator. When it goes to yellow, this means moderate speed or moderate risk. And then, of course, when it turns to green, that means we've got high speed of the tape, and this, of course, has the lowest risk associated with these trades. So we use these three colors, red for low speed and the highest risk, yellow for moderate speed and moderate risk, and then, of course, green for a high speed of the tape. And, of course, that brings the lowest risk regarding the price action itself. 
Now, here's what it looks like on our charts. When you guys log into our live trade room tomorrow morning at 2.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you're going to see this is just one market. We trade four different markets here simultaneously. We watch six different markets here all day long. But you're going to see this market is going to be broken up into a number of different time frames and different charts. Of course, you've got your slower time frame in the left-hand corner. That's going to define our major support and resistance levels. Our faster time frame in the upper right-hand corner, this is where we look for our price patterns. You've got your medium time frames. These are where we add additional layers of risk. And then don't forget, lower left-hand corner, there's your pace of the tape. This is a proprietary indicator, and as you guys can see here, it's tucked just below our time and sales window. It's like a speedometer for the time and sales window. So as the time and sales window speeds up, we start seeing yellow and green pace of the tape bars. As it slows down, we see yellow and red. Okay, so green means go, that means fast speed of the tape. Red means stop, that means slow speed of the tape. And guys, this is exactly what it looks like when you, live, when, you, when you log into the trade room tomorrow. It's available for all of our lifetime members, guys, and we'll show you guys more of this when you join us. So come out and join us tomorrow, 2.45 a.m. It's available for lifetime members and trial members. Come out and join us. We're going to show you guys how we go through our three very simple steps of identifying, adjusting, and execute, and we'll do so live in real time, guys. want to remind you guys also, if you're coming out to join us for the first time tomorrow, make sure to pick up a copy of the Beginner's Course. The Beginner's Course is going to give you that firm foundation of knowledge about who we are, what we do, how we trade, what we're trading, why we're trading. It'll give you all the information you guys need to get the most of your free three-week trial. Let's talk about some of the trades we took today. Now, like I said earlier, today was one of those days where we're quickly reminded that we're trading in August, right? Now, this on the DAX here was our first trade of the week, right? This is actually our first live trade of the week this week. This at 10.15 this morning on the DAX, symbol is FDAX, and of course, this was a wave long. Entry here was at 48.5. Guys, this was a prime setup here. Beautiful looking pattern. Plenty of room to go. Everything lined up. But guess what happened? Just like we usually see here in August, we see the price action speed up, the pattern develops, but then once we get into that trade, right, all of a sudden, price action died on us. We watched as our speed of the tape indicator, right, the pot indicator dropped down to red from green, and before we knew it, we were looking at this thing going, all right, well, price action is really slowing down quickly right now. We better get out of this thing early. Now, this is one of the most frustrating parts about trading through the summertime months is that you're going to see periods like this where, as you can see in this chart, right, a standard stop would have kept us in this trade. But the problem is, is that we can't stay in these trades if we don't see speed of the tape. One of our rules tells our members what to do if something goes wrong. And when we get into a trade and price action dies like it did here in the DAX, we have no choice but to get out. Cut those losses early and get out of this trade. The frustrating part, obviously, though, is that in a month like August, where, of course, volume can be very in and out, back and forth, it can dry up very quickly, it can come right back very quickly, what we saw here in the market was exactly that, right? Price action came right back a couple minutes later, and, of course, it fulfilled our profit targets while we were sitting on the sidelines. Frustrating, to say the least, obviously, but once again, guys, all we can do, obviously, is keep following our rules, and consistently speaking, we're still doing a great job here in the month of August. Now, we made our money back here, but not all of it, obviously, the DAX being a much more expensive cost per tick. Our second trade of the week was a winner, 1038 on the crude. This was a two-step long here, 7143 was our entry, and of course this was conveniently tucked above that 7140 level, which we defined by the most recent swing high. You can see right there, uh, we have a swing high there just to the left of this box at the 7140 level. So we waited for follow through, Above 7140, we got in long at 7143. We took our first target at three ticks, right? Took two contracts off at three ticks, and then of course got bounced back out when it filled our stop loss at our point of entry. So we got in, we took a quick profit, we waited to see if this move was going to continue back to the upside. It did not. It exhausted and turned right back around against us. But of course, that's why we trail our stop the way we do. And guys, we're going to give you all kinds of information about how we manage our positions. We'll show you guys how we get into these trades. We'll show you guys everything in between. So come out and join us tomorrow morning in our live trade room. It opens up at 2.45 a.m. And we'll show you guys how we qualify these trades. We'll go over each one of our setups. We'll show you guys our entry rules, how we manage the trades. We'll give you live calls with entries, targets, and stops. And guys, plenty, plenty of time for questions and answers. So bring your questions. We're going to give you a free three weeks as part of our trial. I want to remind you guys, the beginner's course is recommended for all free trial members, so pick up a copy of that before you join us tomorrow morning. And guys, remember, rate and comment on this video, please. Drop us a line for more information about lifetime membership, sales at schooloftrade.com. My name is Joseph James. Hope the video helps. Make sure you guys have a great rest of your summer. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning in the live trade room, 2.45 a.m., and we'll, we'll bring that paste the tape indicator. We'll show you guys how it works. Bye-bye for now.